Welcome to this next tutorial of uh, Mesh Surface for SOLIDWORKS. I will just create an empty part and I will import a mesh where I want to make a reverse engineering. I will just use import mesh and we'll get this uh, file which you can get from the download page also. I will just uh, uncheck this mapping because uh, it is uh, floating in space so you can see the object. Now we will just take a look at the object. I will put the lights on. As you can see this is quite a unperfect scan. You can see a lot of issues here, bumps, which are definitely not part of the object. Also the quality of the scan is not good. There are holes here, the edges are not uh, well defined. So you can do this in your processing package, but uh, you can also do reverse engineering here. Now the problem is that uh, running auto surfacing on this mesh is not a great uh, tool and you will not get the good results. For these reasons, because we still don't have a freeform modeler, which we call quad surfacing in our add-in, together with your license you will receive a free version of quick surface freeform and we also integrated this into our workflow the way it works is you just right click on the mesh and then in the menu you will see something which is called quick surface when you start this if you have evaluation because you don't have it installed you will get a warning message so what you need to do is just download quick surface freeform from our website or the best is to contact us and we'll give you instructions how to install this. I will just install this on my computer. You receive the installer. It's just a default uh, application which you just uh, install on your um, PC. You will need an activation code which you will receive from us. Once everything is installed, I will just get back again to um, SOLIDWORKS. And now if I just right click and invoke quick surface the software automatically will open our quick surface freeform model the reason for having this is that we have here a lot of manual tools that you can use to create a nice and uh, accurate freeform surface the demonstration here is not about um, all the features here you will receive um, when you install this version you can always select help and go to the video tutorials so you can get the uh, information how to work with this. But let's quickly try to do some basic modeling here. I will just create my patch, make sure that the snapping is on and with my manual tools we'll just quickly just drag and drop my edges here to create my surface. As I tell in other tutorials, our Freeform surfacing is based on uh, our proprietary snap to mesh technology, so you can always just uh, drag and drop, and the surface always snaps to the to the mesh. And this is how you model. You can probably just uh, turn on all of these to get the best results. I am just quickly remodel this patch. I'm not uh, aiming to make a perfect scan, so it will not be the most accurate one, but at least just to show you how everything works. Just drag and drop, and here I will just snap my edges so we can reconstruct this surface in an easy and simple way. I can just hold out on this red point so I can drag them, and here I will snap. When I have a triangular patch, I will probably just right click and split this to get a, a big uh, quad sided surface. And in this case, because this is um, symmetrical, I will just enable my symmetry, which is on the left plane. We'll double click to select the whole edge and we'll tell the software to put this on the symmetry plane. As you can see, for just a couple of seconds, I built my roughly my uh, surface. You can improve this a lot, and you can just uh, 
create your best services here with the tools. But again, this is not the goal of our demonstration. Uh, we'll just want to show interoperability between the two. So when you have this done, I have my surface ready, and uh, which will look like this one. Actually, this is an empty one. I just created an empty one and cancelled. So this is my result here. It's not accurate at all. Don't take this into account at the moment. It's more about how this will appear back in SOLIDWORKS. So when you model your surface, uh, what you need to do is just press to export the model. Now, when you export, instead of exporting this into step or edges, you need to export this into the quick surface NURBS file format. Please make sure you don't have the map C to Y axis checked because this is not needed. I will just um, pick this, uh, give it the file name, and then I press save. So then I'm ready to get back to SOLIDWORKS. What I need to do now is select File, Open. And now I'll go and locate where my exported file is. And from the filter, I will just select Quick Surface NURBS. Then I can press Open. Because we have already opened a part, the importer of Quick Surface NURBS will offer you, if you want to import this into the, your current document, or if you press No, it will open the file into a new SOLIDWORKS part. In this example, I will just press Yes, because I want to put it in this current uh, part, and I will hide the mesh. And as you can see, I just brought this as a complete SOLIDWORKS surface, which you can modify, you can thicken, you can apply trimming, and different operation. I hope this video is useful. Thank you for watching.